are attempting to do today is take this little sheet right here and use it as a means to figure out how to do unit cancellation. Unit cancellation is the method that I want you to use to solve all of these types of problems. In here I'm giving you in the example problems the density. The density can be found in your textbook on page 914 and when we look on page 914 get that in better focus, we see a chart that gives us all kinds of things about every element on the periodic chart. But we're looking right now for the element which is called sulfur. And so sulfur would be a couple of pages over, and sulfur, if we look at the density, is 2.08. So that's where that number came from. Now we're going back and we're going to look at this and we're going to figure out what's given and what is supposed to be found. So this is example A on your sheet and we have a given of 2.08 grams per cubic centimeter and we have a, another given of 13 centimeters cubed. In other words, they say we have 13 cubic centimeters of stuff, in this case it's sulfur, and we're trying to figure out how much that should weigh. So in the find, our find is actually grams. How many grams of sulfur is that going to represent? So this, I tried to get you to separate out and look at this in terms of this equality. Either one of these can be on the top. It is determined by this number right here, what we're supposed to, not this number, I'm sorry, it's determined by what we're supposed to find. And that is this statement right here. How much would it weigh in grams? So here we go. We're going to put grams on top, 2.08, just like it is written up above. And that's going to be centimeters, this is cubed, it's a volume, cubed. Now, the next thing we do is we take how many cubic centimeters we have and we put that over 1 to be multiplied times this. And you'll see that the cubic centimeters are going to cancel. And now we just pull out our calculator and we run the numbers. So we're going to put 2.08 times 13 and that comes out to 27. Now, I'm going to explain to you later why this is 27 and not 27.04 like you see on your calculator. It's simply 27. And this is 27 grams of sulfur. And that's our answer here. This is what I want you to show. This is the way I want you to show your work after you've done the given and the fun. Now, let's try example B. And example B is going to be for the element calcium. And on this one, they're going to ask us to find the volume in cubic centimeters. So we break this into an equality, and now the cubic centimeters is the one that will be on top when we start our calculation. So we go to one uh, and, and we should also write down the given and find first. Let's do that. Given and find. So our given is 8.65 grams per cubic centimeter. And we're also given, over in the problem itself, 41.7 grams. So we have 41.7 grams. And let's go ahead and draw a line here. And now let's go ahead. What are we supposed to find? We're supposed to find the volume that that many grams would represent. So first job is to put cubic centimeters on top because that's what we're trying to find. You see back in the last problem we were trying to find grams so we put grams on top. And that's the equality that represents the um, density of that particular substance. So we're going to have on top one centimeter cubed 
and on the bottom we have the 8.65. Now we're going to multiply that by however many grams we were given, and that's 41.7 grams. And now you can see we have a division problem. So we simply take our calculator, 41.7 divided by 8.65. And by the way, that 8.65 is grams. So we get 4.82 on the calculator. 4.82. And again, tomorrow, or in the lesson very shortly, we'll understand more about sig figs and I'll be able to show you then. But this now is going to cancel grams and we wind up with cubic centimeters as our unit of measure. And that's what we want for that guy. Now for the first problem that deals with cobalt, we're going to have to figure out what the density of cobalt is, and we do that by going to page 914 in the book, and we look for cobalt, and we see over here that cobalt weighs, or has a density of 8.9 grams per cubic centimeter. So, that's what we're going to put in to the first column, 8.9 grams per cubic centimeter. And when we write that as an equality or a ratio, either one, you can say it either way, we have this many grams of cobalt, 8.9, and that's equal to one cubic centimeter of cobalt. So, what are we going to do to figure out who goes, or who's going to be our find? Our find will be the weight in grams and because the find is the weight in grams, after we uh, get here to the first problem, let's go ahead and do the given and find. Given is the 8.9 grams per cubic centimeter. The other given is a volume, and that volume is 24 cubic centimeters. So we have 24 centimeters cubed. And now what we're supposed to find is how many grams. So we go down here and we figure out, because we can write this either way, whatever we're looking for has to be on top of our fraction that we start with. And that is going to be 8.9 grams on top and on the bottom, 1 cubic centimeter. And we're talking about cobalt now. And we're given this volume of cobalt, which is 24 cubic centimeters over 1. So, as you can see, this one turned out to be a multiply problem, just like example A that we did earlier. So, we're going to go down here and figure out with the calculator what that number needs to be. And that's 8.9 times 24. And that's going to be 213, or, yeah, we'll just call that 213. Let's go ahead and round it. Uh, oh, let's put the whole number in. We'll talk about sig figs another time. 213.6. 213.6, and that is, after we cancel out the cubic centimeters, going to be grams. So here's our grams here, and that's our answer for that one. Okay, we'll continue this. I'll do a couple more problems on a second video, but that's it for this one. So there will be a video too.